and this is Michelle. I'm going to be reading you the story Bedhead. Bedhead is written by Margie Pellantini and illustrated by Jackie Davis. Bedhead by Margie Pellantini, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. Shuffle, slump, shuffle, slump, shuffle, slump. Slumped bleary-eyed Oliver out of bed, down the hall, and into the bathroom. He yawned, he yanked, splashed some water, switched some mouthwash, gave his front teeth a passable brushing. And then, in a gunkless corner of the soapy silver soap dish, in a fogless smidgen of his father's foggy shaving mirror, right there on the hot water faucet, for heaven's sake, he saw it. It was big. It was bad. It was bad -ed. Oliver's hair was out of control, way out of control. There was hair going this way, hair going that way, hair going up, down, around, and around. And there was one teeny tiny clump of hair way at the back of his head that looked just like a cat's coughed up fur ball. Aha! Oliver's scream shook, it rattled, it rolled all the way down the stairs and into the kitchen where Fruit Loops went flying. Milk was spilled, spit, and sputtered, and two toast toasties did triple backflips onto the breakfast table. Oliver? Oliver? Oliver! shouted Mom, Dad, and Emily as they ran up the stairs and headed for the bathroom door. Mom leaned close to the door. Closer? Closer. That's right. Even closer. Is everything all right, Oliver? She whispered in her calmest calm mom voice. Come now, dear. Open the door and let us in. No sound from Oliver. Not a whimper, not a peep. Please, said Mom. Pretty, please. Pretty, 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 please. The doorknob slowly turned. Mom smiled at Dad. She gave a wink to Emily. There you go, she said, taking a step into the bathroom. Nothing can be that. Bad! Wrong. It was that bad. Yes, sir. No doubt about it, said Dad, surveying the hairy situation from sink side. Oliver, my boy, you're having one bad hair day. Major, said Mom. Total, agreed Emily. Maybe if we just push it this way, Mom said, giving it a try. Boing. Been there. Done that, moaned Oliver. Perhaps if we just pull it that way, said Dad. Boing. Been there, done that, groaned Oliver. I could curl it, offered Emily, ready to roll. Oliver stared a steely stare at his sister. I don't think so. Oh, then we'll just wet it, said Mom. Yes, let's just wet it, they all agreed. So they watered Oliver. They swished him and splashed him, gave him a good soak and dunk. Ah, they said, sighing a confident job well done sigh. Oliver's bedhead was now one dripping wet head, and then it dried. Boing, boing, bing, bing, boing. Hair started going this way. Hair started going that way. Then up, down, around, and around. And there was now a bigger clump of hair way at the back of his head that looked just like a cat's coughed up fur ball. Ah! I say we spray! Shouted Dad, taking aim with a squirt. Yes. Spray, spray, cried, Mom, cried out Mom and Emily. So spray already, sputtered Oliver. So they spritzed him and sprayed him, and they gooped, globbed, and moosed him. They even hairpinned him flat in five places for good measure. Ah, they said, sighing a confident, job well done sigh. Oliver's bedhead was now one slick gel head. And then, pins went f -f -f flying. B -b boing, b boing, bing, bing, b -b boing. Hair started going this way, hair started going that way, then up, down, around, and around, and there was now an even bigger clump of hair way at the back of his head that looked just like a cat's coughed up fur ball. Oliver wondered, maybe if I just sort of, kind of, you know, brushed it a bit? No, no, the three shouted, seeing the boy with bristles poised. Whatever you do, no, no, no brush. Too late. Ooh, yes, the brush got stuck. Not stuck in the hair going this way or that. Not stuck in the hair going up and down. Not even stuck in the hair going around and around. But stuck, yes, very, very, very stuck. In the clump way at the back of his head that looked just like a cat's cough up fur ball. Mom gave it a yank. Yow! Dad gave it a pull. Ooh, ouch! And Emily gave it a one good long tug. Yike! 
Well, said Mom without a bit of a doubt, that brush is stuck all right. Definitely stuck, decided Dad. A done deal, declared Emily. Then, just when they all were about to give up hope, Oliver, <coughs> Oliver saw the answer right there on the wall. That's it, he pointed. The hat, the hat, go get that hat. So without one more thought of a spritz, sprite, or dunk, they all helped Oliver squish, smoosh, and cram every bit of bed hug, stuck brush and all, into his faithful old battered but true blue baseball cap. Well, almost. Eh, good enough. And with a kiss and a wave, Oliver headed off to school. Everything was fine. Everything was dandy. And then... Mary Margaret, who sat in the third row, four seats down, one desk across from Oliver in Mrs. Oppenheimer's class at Biddlemeyer Elementary, looked over to him and said, You can't wear that hat. Oliver looked over to Mary Margaret. Ken, too. Ken, not. And just why not, demanded Oliver, holding tightly onto his hat. Mary Margaret grinned. Because it's picture day. P picture day? stuttered Oliver. Picture day, sang out Mrs. Oppenheimer, standing in front of the class. Everyone, line up for our class picture. Back straight, faces front, smiles wide, and, and hats off. Uh-oh, said Oliver. Hats off? We're waiting, Oliver, said Mrs. Oppenheimer, as everyone took their places. We're waiting, Oliver, said Mary Margaret. We're waiting, Oliver, said everyone else. Hey, kids, said the man behind the camera. Yeah, you with the lumpy-looking head. Off with that hat. Oliver hemmed, he hauled but he knew he had had it. He lifted the brim and slowly took off his faithful old battered but true blue baseball cap. He held his breath, closed his eyes, and he waited. He waited some more. Nothing, zero, zilch, nada. He opened his eyes and looked up. There was no hair going this way, no hair going that way, no hair going up, down, not even around and around. And nobody could see the brush stuck in the clump of hair way at the back of his head that looked like a cat's coughed up furball. Aha, said Oliver, sighing a confident job well done sigh. Ready everyone, sang out Mrs. O. Big smiles and say cheese on the count of three. One, she said. Two, she said. And then, 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 boing, boing, bing, bing, boing, 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 boing. Hair started going this way, Hair started going that way, hair started going up, down, around, and around, and the brush that was stuck in the clump of hair way at the back of his head that looked just like a cat's coughed up fur ball, let loose and boinged Mary Margaret on top of her head and boomeranged right into Mrs. Oppenheimer's nose. Three, said the boinked Mrs. O, just as she and everyone else at Biddlemeyer Elementary got a look at Oliver and his bedhead. Ah, jeez! Click! Got it! said the photographer.